Hi everyone, this is Jamie from Lathering Lotus here to talk about soda ash, what it is and what it isn't. Soda ash is a white powdery ashy film that develops on the surface of your handmade soap. The key word here is surface. What it isn't is harmful. If it's truly soda ash, it should wash off easily and it's just a cosmetic issue. So why does soda ash form? It's felt that when sodium hydroxide or lye, which is a base, reacts in raw soap with carbon dioxide in the air, which is an acidic gas, sodium carbonate or soda ash is formed. So just to show you a soap that has soda ash on it, I'm gonna hold this up. This has a white film on it and I made it on purpose. I took it out of the individual mold early so I knew that soda ash would develop. And this is what it looks like when I plane the top of it off and just remove the soda ash. So it does make a difference um, and there's still some soda ash on the back of this one. So to decrease soda ash, I found that there are several tips that are helpful. The main tip is to decrease the time that the raw soap batter is exposed to air. There are several ways that you can do this. The first tip to decrease soda ash is to do a water discount. Typically for most of my soaps, I use a 33% lye solution, which is a two to one ratio of lye to water. Tip number two for decreasing soda ash in your soap is to force the gel phase. In the gel phase, the soap can get very hot, almost up to 200 degrees, and the oils and the lye marry a bit quicker and then decrease the amount of time that the soap batter is exposed to air. Third tip to prevent soda ash is to spray the top of the soap with isopropyl alcohol. Wait until the soap is set up a little bit to avoid getting little craters that um, have occurred from spraying the alcohol. Fourthly, it's also been mentioned in many soap making forums that covering the top of the soap with plastic wrap can help prevent soda ash. So that works, I think, as long as you keep the plastic wrap on the soap until it is fully saponified. Finally, I've noticed that when I use a formula that includes castor oil, that the soda ash can still occur, but it just seems to be less prominent or visible. I don't know if that happens to any other soap makers, but if it does, please let me know. So if you've made your homemade soap and you've used all those tips and you still get soda ash, what do you do? You can steam the soda ash off. You can simply wash it off. After all, it is soap. Or thirdly, my favorite method is to spray the soap with distilled water wait five minutes, come back and spray it with rubbing alcohol, wait another five minutes, and then you're left with an ash-free surface that looks a little bit glossy. I hope this talk on soda ash was informative for those of you who are new to soap making, and I hope these tips work for you. Let me know if you have any questions. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, email, latheringlotus at yahoo.com, all the ways that you can reach people nowadays. And um, happy soaping.